extremely, extremely biased court. The only people allowed to use recording devices are cops in the courtroom. Just incredible. So it starts out where I had to like beg to use my iPad and then I had to show her my iPad and she, she I said I have notes and she's like, okay, we'll allow it, just no recording. And she like repeated herself several times. No recording, no recording. They, they didn't want any recording because the ruling is extremely biased. Just incredible. I mean, with, with not even, not even uh, acknowledging the inconsistencies with the uh, ordinance, just simply using uh, the credibility of her buddies a a against me, me who has no credibility, and they who have a lot, and then, and then this uh, issue with my my cop baiting, okay, and I, I I explained it as clearly as I could that these these cops are are stopping me uh, for the most unusual things, just sitting on the side of the road, standing next to a library, all right? But that, that went over her head. It's, it's really something that's questionable about her, her ability to be objectionable in this matter. All right, so there's a lot of intimidation. Uh, I'm not in the city anymore. I was I was followed out. It took him a while, I think, to catch up to me. I, I didn't uh, notice the cop following me until like 10 minutes into the drive. But there they were. They were in my, my blind spot and following me just perfectly. They actually turned out into the, the way station and then but right back in and came right up behind me again. They were seriously on me. And I was going to, like, after the court case, I was going to just leave my car in the parking lot of the, the city hall and go for a walk. And they just started yelling at me. You can't leave your car here only for business. It's city officials only. You have to leave. You have to leave now. You have to drive away now. I was going to go for a walk to try to burn off this stress. The stress has been eating me all day today. And, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's causing like problems. I need to get out and walk. That's usually what happens for this stress. I need to walk. But uh, this this whole court proceeding, I I uh, like I had three guys testify against me. Okay, uh, the the uh, Trevor Sani and then Cooper is the the camp host, and then the other guy who's uh, like the park manager. Okay, and they're like. Um, they testified in their different ways. The park manager seemed to have been the the ordinance expert. the the park The park manager seemed to be the guy who wanted to tell the most lies. The cop just kind of said what what happened and pretty much everything in the video. The park manager really told some wild ones. I found that interesting. Just just the whole me and my hand wrapped in a blanket thing and. Um, looking wildly about like I was stealing the car. He was concerned about me stealing the car. Um, I tried to address everything. I, you know, I, I asked the, the park host his uh, capacity to remember. I asked him what kind of car was I driving. He didn't know. He didn't know, he didn't, he didn't know that. There was, there was like his, his memory was so spotty and the lies are so wild. And he just, even with all of that, he's, even with all his lies, he still had more credibility just because they're all buddies. And I know in the comments, people say that a lot, that it is really a buddy system. Wow, it, uh, it's amazingly buddy system. Uh, I was really threatened about recording. And, you know, I didn't record because the cops do pat you down at other court courthouses. All right, they check your bags and stuff. And these guys could have done that, okay? So I was concerned about them patting me down for a recording device. And, you know, 
I kind of wish I would have recorded. 